why is that person on stage? I want to be on stage too. Participating in doing things has been the you know meditation mm -hmm. that has helped me get through feeling like heartbroken. Yes. Yeah. I grew up in Apple Valley, just south of Minneapolis in Minnesota. It sounds beautiful, but it's total strip mall suburban nonsense. When I was in middle school, my parents went through bankruptcy, and we then started shopping at thrift stores. And I think it was totally starting at thrift stores that I began to pick out to strange, bizarre objects that kids at school normally wouldn't be wearing. I would find these vintage pieces that didn't fit me right, so I would chop them up and sew different things onto them. And so that's why I came to New York, was to make it big in the clothing business. And I've fallen into doing performance art. Well, when I was a kid, uh, I, I, I wore all black, and then I was camouflage. And then in high school, I started going to high school wearing um, like doctor smocks and, and barefoot or sandals. And this was like grunge, Seattle. So people, would, people were sort of retro or they were punk or they were preppy. We met at a uh, loft party in Bushwick. He um, was just wearing fishnets and I fishnet was just stockings. wearing fishnets. But I had like a black bodice on. Did I have a shirt no. on? No, no, no. Are you kidding on? me? <laughs> I guess the transformation then to actual performance art was I had a space when I first met Fritz. I had a store that was making me really unhappy. I didn't want to just be running some regular retail store in New York. Together we decided to start a space that could be fashion and fun and silly and totally filled with play. There's so many places to go and get a drink. There's so many places to buy clothes. There's so many places to like shop. But there's where are there, where's there like this common sort of community space where you can go and just be goofy and like act like a kid and really be super playful. And that's why we do um, Hi Christina is to allow people to express a side of themselves that they don't usually get to. It can be challenging, it can be challenging. Just in a show, maybe we have, this is rare, but there'll be like a stickler in the crowd who doesn't want to participate. And I feel it's my duty, just because I feel like that's for my, always my duty for myself as well, to like try to be positive and participatory and willing to try different things. So in, in like um, engaging people. And bring people, them in. Yeah, and so engaging people this way and bringing them in, I feel like it's helping me too. I run in these pants sometimes. Well, you run in all your clothes, I think. That's my form of exercise. Basically, that's my criteria is like, can I run in the clothes? And is it fabulous? Then I'll wear it. This I've run across the bridge in before, like the Williamsburg Bridge, and people are like, Fritz! Fritz! <laughs> if you blur your outfit and you can still be recognized, that's a, uh, you know, maybe that's a sign Is of like an interesting outfit. I went shopping uh, at the Wick District in, in Brooklyn, where women get like their, like their real hair. And this was there on the display and was the only one, and I thought I had lost it. And so I had been without it for two months, almost in tears every time I thought of it. And Fritz just found it. I thought yeah. he was going to ask me to marry him because he was like, I have a great surprise and you're going to cry. I just I just know you're going to cry. And I, I have to give it to you when, when I see you. Right. And I was like, oh, oh, here we go. But it was the week. So everyone was relieved. I think I already answered where I mean. That's right. We're in already technically form. engaged. But Christina made this out of shirts that my father, he died, and we had all this clothing of his. Didn't want to throw it away. For me, it's a very sentimental shirt, but there's also a way that it's just like a fun, exciting shirt. This was at a Chicago thrift store. It's like a vintage Pucci, and this is like, I love this. Find these things. <gasps> Oh my god, you almost wanted to like grab the person next to you. Oh, did you see what I just found? I can't believe you missed this. And this was 60 cents. I'm not kidding you, it was 60 cents. This was one of the times where I like grabbed the woman next to me. Oh my god, seriously, is this 60 cents? Is this the cents? I can believe it. This I made. I went to Materials for the Arts and I found all this crazy vinyl, which now I'm obsessed with. My father kind of had two lives. He had a life before we were born. Um, as a priest, a Roman Catholic priest. He was actually kicked out of the priesthood because he tried to do Planned Parenthood. He was kicked out for ideological reasons. They wanted him to recant and that he wouldn't. He went out of like the Catholic Church into cleaning. He was amazing, wonderful uh, person and um, like a, a comedian, you know, in a lot of ways. He's sort of a hero, I think, to me. Sorry, uh, he died. He died around this time of year, a couple years ago. One great thing about clothing is that you can get other people to dress you up, and then they feel involved in your personality. 
So that's part of the idea of this. Can you guys give me a hand for one second? I'm just trying to uh, build my shirt. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so. Could you spin it out? Yes, uh, you and Pete Games, trust him. Okay. And this is going to go, it's going to become a shirt. Okay. Oh, it's nice. it looks sure. very nice. Yes, yeah. that is. Oh, I like that. That's clever. <laughs> oh, nice. Spatial intelligence. <laughs> and then it speeds up suddenly. Faster. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Bye. Have a good day. But see, this is the great thing. So my vision of this was that it would completely cover my body. But you know, uh, it's only partial. But maybe that's more interesting. So it's always nice to collaborate. It's good to keep a little patches for the air for circulation. The clothing has always been a great way of um, providing a social critique of some kind. You know, yeah, maybe I'm wearing this women's clothing and then this, you know, whatever the... These are maybe unisex or something like that, I don't know. But it's not, it's not frequent that a man is wearing like tights kind of and going out. Whatever you're wearing, if you have a mustache, people are like, okay, well this is like a guy. I used to change with my clothes during uh, shows because I would want to be a different character. Or if I, would, if I was hosting a show, that would be one outfit and then mm -hmm. I'd want to come out as a different character. That you can say so much with your clothes, so why not take advantage of that? It's nice to try to make a difference in the world by looking different, somebody will maybe be a little bit more themselves. I don't want people to be me, I just want them to be whoever they are, because that's what's so interesting about all of us.